Say hi, baby. Come say hi. She she likes to sit on my bed sometimes. Right, Lil? You say hi. Hi. Say subscribe to Liz. Her nose is running. Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the ride or die tag and I don't know once again why did I not do this earlier <laughs> but I'm finally going to be doing it. I think Jacqueline Hill put this out like about a month ago. Um, just all your favorite products that if you were deserted on a, de a deserted island, if you were stranded on a deserted island, what would you bring and why? So I have all my products that I've had over the past years and everything in between and some of them may be newer than others but they are all my ride or die products for right now because I still have the whole makeup universe to like explore you know so this is what I have for you guys so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel there'll be a subscribe button right over here and then down below over here I believe that there is a subscribe button you can subscribe to me if you like it's for free and I would really appreciate it because I'm almost at 500 subscribers and I'm so excited my goal for this year was to get 1,000 subscribers by like the end of 2012 2012 oh my god 2016 what so, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to make that, but, I mean, 500 is pretty good for me. <laughs> the first Ride or Die product that I have for you today is primers. And, of course, it is my MAC Fix Plus spray. So, this has just so many uses. I love using it for all of its uses, <laughs> um, but especially as a base uh, for my face. So, what I... a base for my face. So, what I'll do is I'll just spray my whole entire face and then I'll do my makeup. I'll use this for, you know, eyeshadows if I want it to be more pigmented, anything like that. The MAC Fix Plus. So my Ride or Die foundation, ugh, this is so hard because I've been using two different foundations for the past couple of months and I've, I've been loving both of them, um, but I have to choose this one because it's my favorite. And this is probably like my third or fourth bottle of it. <laughs> it's the Makeup Forever HD Ultra, Ultra HD foundation and I'm in the color 125. I love this so much. It is the same exact color as my skin, or at least I think so. Like, I feel like I don't even have to put any, like, on my neck or anything like that. I just feel like it blends so perfectly. It looks so good on camera. I have it on right now, and I think my face looks pretty good to me. I mean, I, uh, so definitely right or die. I've been using this since, like, 2011 or something like that, or 2012, maybe 2012. So when picking out my ride or die concealer, it was hard once again because face products are so like ugh to me, you know, like they're so important. But if I had to choose just one, it would be the Naked Skin Concealer. I am obsessed with this. Um, you may or not be able to tell, but the bottle is practically gone. Like there is nothing left in here. I need to go and buy another one. Um, I'm in the color medium light. I chose medium light because I usually just obviously just do it around my eyes and then if I want to highlight anything else on my face I will use it too. Um, I would even go a shade lighter to highlight more but this is once again like the perfect color. I think it's like the perfect color for my skin I think. <laughs> it gives me a really nice coverage and it's really lightweight so that's what I love about it. But if I also had an honorary mention, I would also pick the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm in the color Vanilla. It's light to vanilla. And I love this so much. I'm wearing this one on me right now because I've been using this for the past couple of months. And once again, it's just amazing. Amazing. My Ride or Die Face Powder. Oh, this one. I love it so much. I, for the past, like, two years or so, I've been using the Rummel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. Press, yeah, pressed powder. And I'm obsessed. I love it so much. I, it gives me a nice matte look. I put this on my face as well. I, uh, today, I, oh, I just love it. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I've, I've hit a little bit of pan. You can... See that little dent? Oh. This is a great affordable press powder and I just have nothing but great words for this powder. 
So next is under eye setting powder and without like any doubt in the whole entire world. I know I've only had this for about like a few months, but this Laura Mercier translucent powder. Mm. Like the best powder I've ever used. Oh, I love it so much. It gives your skin such a nice silky look to it and it's just oh, I love it so much. Sorry about my phone. It keeps on going off. All my notifications on. Okay. So if you haven't tried this out, I definitely suggest you do. Save up those gift cards and save up that money to... I just fell right out of my hands. Oh my god. It's good because it's a pressed powder. Blush. Okay, so I have this weird thing with blushes. I, for the longest time, I would just go and get like all those MAC blushes that were all limited edition. And then I'm like, oh my god, Liz, what are you doing to yourself? This blush I've had literally since probably 2010 or 2011. Um, it's from the Mac to the Beach collection. If anyone actually remembers this, like throwback, because this is like when I first started YouTube and I would just go out and like literally the girls at Mac knew my name because I went there so much. Like after like work or whatever, I would just go through Macy's and like straight to Mac, you know? So this is in Hipness. This is such a pretty color and I use this so sparingly because I do not want it to end ever. Um, I, it's just a great blush that's like very light. It's not like one of those like flashy blushes. It's like a great blush for every day and I just love it. I just love Champagne Pop because I think it's a great um, like neutral beigey color. I think it gives you a nice gold champagne obviously color and it just oh I love it so much. Also the fact that a YouTuber, Jaclyn Hill, who like created this tag, um, also collab with Becca Cosmetic to do this is like amazing. I just love it when YouTubers do collabs with brands because it just shows like how far YouTube has come over the years, so it's just amazing. Amazing. So mascara, oh my gosh. My favorite mascara, hands down is the Buxom Mascara. This is probably, oops, this is probably like my third bottle of this and this has already run out. I need to go get another one. But my favorite part about it, I always think that like mascara is mascara, but it's the wand that really makes it special. And this wand is just amazing. Wow. Like it is perfect. It's like, it has like nice long bristles. It has a nice shape to it. Um, it like catches like the perfect amount of mascara. It's not too clumpy. It's not too like thin or whatever. Like it's perfect. Perfect. I always suggest getting this mascara. This is my ride or die. So next is lipstick, liquid lipstick, and lip gloss. So you're getting all three of them right now. So my favorite lipstick I have on right now, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I could, I would, ever, I would wear red lips every single day, but I know that's like so extra sometimes, but I love it so, so much. This is Ruby Woo by MAC, and it's just amazing. Like, this is the color that Rihanna wore. This is, this is just such a, like, amazing red lip and I think it looks good on like all skin types so skin colors and also because I mean you can't have red lips without a lip liner so I use the um, MAC Kiss Me Quick lip liner and it's kind of like it's red but it kind of has like a pink tone to it but I think it looks really good with Ruby Woo um, and like the girl suggested it at the MAC counter like years ago <laughs> liquid lipstick I mean don't get me wrong I love the Kylie lip kits but in my favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills like this stuff will last you all day all night through the morning like everything my favorite color is in crush I this is actually my only color that I have um, but I love it because obviously why would I buy it if I didn't like it and they apply like butter like oh I just apply that on my hand and I'm like oh my god am I spraying butter or lipstick so this is the color 
my favorite lip gloss which is like kind of funny because I haven't really worn lip gloss in like a really long time but my favorite one is Ample Pink by MAC and this has been through you know what and back it is um, an old favorite of mine and I, I just have nothing but amazing things to say about it is this is one of those colors that I've had literally since 2010 like when I first started out and actually actually this would look wicked good it looks really nice right next to the liquid and uh, it's just a really nice gloss oh look at that shine Ooh. so here are the both of the colors right next to each other so we have ample pink which is the gloss and then crush right next to it which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I think they're just like amazing oh, perfect so this is totally random, but I don't think that she put eye primer down. Um, but if I had to pick a favorite, my favorite is the MAC Nuble Paint Pot. And this is unfortunately limited edition, which totally stinks, but this is like the perfect color to get like a nice satin sheen to your makeup, to your eye makeup. So I love this color so much. So for lashes, um, because this is really the only brand that I've ever used, <laughs> like ever, um, Ardell, which is obviously my favorite because it's the only one I've ever used. I really love Ardell lashes a lot and my favorite um, right now the moment in my ride or die obviously are the Ardell Wispies. I love these so much. I think they just give you like, they're like a push-up bra for your eyes. Alright, I feel like they just boom out my eyes and like just make them look so awesome so yeah it's my ride or die my ride or die makeup palette I'm not even gonna say anything cuz you guys if you've been watching my videos and if you have uh, seen my last couple tutorials then you know the MAC warm neutral palette so my favorite setting spray since I've already did the like the uh, since I already did a primer and my primer is like my setting spray as well which I, I'm gonna spray on my face right now is the MAC Fix Plus mm. oh I love it I love it so much and it smells so good oh it smells so good so uh, also I don't know if she had eyebrow stuff as well but my favorite eyebrow whatever like any eyebrow product ever is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um duo in soft brown oh I just love it so much and I finally like I hit pan like there's a little tiny dent in there and I'm like oh, my god my baby but because I don't like using dip brow because I think it makes my eyebrows look too like ugh, like too much I been I love using powder for my eyebrows because I don't think that I need like too much I like my eyebrows how they are so um, just to like highlight them a little bit more the so last but not least, perfume. I didn't even realize that she had perfume as a category. So I was like, oh my god, what kind of perfume do I want? I mean, like, I use different perfumes every single year. Um, except for, like, in high school where I just used, like, Juicy Couture, like, every single day of my life. But this perfume is my all-time favorite. <laughs> and I always just get the little bottles of it and I don't know why. It's the Grace Pure Perfume. Sorry, I just kicked my camera. <laughs> um, and, oh my god. I I put this on at the beginning of the day and like I literally smell it till I go to bed and I love it like I there was a long period of time where I would spray this before I went to bed just to like smell it like because uh, I would just literally drench my room with this spray if I could um, this perfume I love it so so much it gives it's just like a nice clean but sophisticated scent and like oh uh, I love it. <laughs> Alright, so that is it. That's my ride or die tag. Those are all my favorites um, that I would, if I had to live only on those products, those would be the products that I lived with. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I just want to th say thank you once again for almost 500 subscribers. I'm only like four away. So thank you so much. It means the world to me. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.